That's right, everybody. It's a pedophile double feature today. I feel disgusting for saying that out loud. While I've been dealing with the Grizzly the Medic situation, I was brought in to help with another sexual predator prowling around the internet. This time, it was in the Hasbin Hotel fandom. Sly Fox is an interesting man. He's apparently been a member of the Hasbin Hotel community since 2016 and was very quickly ousted for incredibly inappropriate behavior. Flirting with minors, distribution of erotic material to a 15-year-old girl, and Dora the Explorer erotic fan content. The list of people currently on screen are the ones responsible for keeping an eye on Sly Fox, collecting information and evidence, and Tim Bread specifically has been asked to be pointed out as a singular person who started the investigation on this person. I was brought in by a group of people who wish to remain anonymous to assist them, Loke Kitten, John Undertale, also known as Jerry, Definitely Not Real, and Miter in order to publicly expose this individual and possibly, if we can, get him behind bars. Once the rest of the screenshot evidence that has been collected has been passed on to me and I've finished organizing all of it, I will be submitting everything I've collected to the police in Sly Fox's area. But for now, here is him explicitly admitting to everything he's been accused of. Yes, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. So we are here today to basically, this is our olive branch for our metaphorical olive branch for you. And this olive branch comes with, assuming that we get the whole truth, this olive branch means that we can potentially work on getting you back into the fan court and in the good graces of people such as my. Uh, so just so you know. However, you have to be incredibly truthful. Like, we, no bullshitting, no lies, okay? Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Okay, perfect. So, you did you know Max was 15? Uh, no. Okay, because we have screenshots proving otherwise. Well, I I don't even remember... Her even mentioning her her age. Mm, I'm gonna been... add in. I'm gonna add in. I do believe that didn't it was <laughs> there before or after he joined the fan court. This <laughs> was there, um, but well, <laughs> was there during his time in the fan court. Okay, well then, she, uh, they would have said actually, that she actually joined about a few days after me because I remember her joining, maybe about two days after I had joined. Mm -hmm. Okay, well then, you should have seen the introduction, because I believe they said you're 15 in the introduction. So, and and again, we need you to be truthful here. Like, honestly, have but even, to prove otherwise. Even if you didn't know, you would, you, you confirm, you acknowledge it. Oh. Okay. But you also knew before, correct, speak screenshots saying that you did. Had a con uh, somebody had a conversation with you and sent us the screenshot saying that you knew before. You made them a mod. And that's fine. We just need to know. We need to hear you say it. Yeah. I don't remember exactly, but if there is screenshots that, that, that say I knew, then I pretty much knew. I just need a yes or no. Did you know that Quack. was 15? Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And when you gave her the status of co-owner knowing that she was 15 you allowed her to view pornography correct or rather i should say did you allow her to view pornography knowing that she was 15. no because before i even made her a co-owner there was already filters that were going to shield that and the thing was was that when you're a co-owner you got access to every channel that's right. in there right and it was supposed to be that because it was her there was supposed to be filters so that she didn't have to go into those chats specifically but that's but not a word and yeah. she mentioned that before too because we were talking we talked about it while you were in a voice chat one day and she asked you about that 
And again, you have to be honest here. So you gave her co-owner and did not lock those channels, even though you knew she was 15, correct? Yes, or yes, I should say yes or no. Uh, yes. So knowing that she was 15, you still gave her co-owner, which gave her access to all the channels, including NSF. Did you allow her to see NSFW content in that respect? Um, yes, but in, in those, in those chats, the not safe for work stuff, there wasn't anything in particular, like, okay, there wasn't anything R rated in there. The only thing that uh, I there was has been porn in there, there uh, porn. because the uh, what's his name the Rainbow Alistair guy posted it. Rainbow Alistair that doesn't ring a bell, but guy whatever his name was, somebody posted porn in there in the time that I was on the server because I was checking because I was a moderator and I was checking the chat and then he asked me about it in DMs. You know what was going on in so, that chat. So basically, what we're saying. Oh, sorry. So basically. You allowed Nyx to see pornography by not. Did you allow Nyx to see pornography by not locking the channels from her? Um, no. What do you mean, no? Because I know that me and were the ones that set up the not safe for work things. Right. But she and had a co-owner and administrator, which lets you see all the channels. So even if you had set that up properly, which, by the way, I had a couple members ask me saying they told me they could see the Not Safe for Work channels, but they didn't have that role. And when I went to see the role as a mod, it was completely useless at the bottom of the list. So it was never complete before real left the server. Yeah, because we, 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 we because before real and I, because before we left the server, we were already beginning talks to fix the not safe for work chats and create a role right. that was called Erotic City. Okay. Yes. But that's here's what... the thing. The point that we're trying to make is that you knew Quack. this was underage. You already said yes. And that even though you knew she was underage, she still had access to NSFW. Basically, she had administrator and she could see those channels. Do you confirm that? Yes. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna move on to the next question. And again, well, we have we have screenshots of everything, so we just prefer if you're truthful and honest, because that's the only way we can help fix the situation. I can bring up this next thing considering it's affected me in the past too. Yeah, go for it. What we want to ask is they need to know about the past so they so we can move on from this. Because people are calling saying these guys are lying. They're not going to say whether you did it or not to the people on the server, but they need to know in the past you role played and, and wrote and wrote, you know, erotic fiction of door. That's what they hear. And I've heard it. Now I'm I'm here to, you know, help you through this because you've told me before, right? Uh, they just need to hear it themselves because they want to know the truth. So you have done this before, correct? I was blue shorts here. Yes, it was. Uh, it was a past that I've been trying to put behind me for quite a while now. But you confirm you did it, yeah? Or rather, yeah. let me rephrase that. Did okay. Did you or did you not write erotic fan fiction of Dora the Explorer? I did. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go through all these questions again, just to make sure that we understand each other. You knew that this was 15, correct? Yes. Okay. Even though she was 15, you gave her administrative privileges, which allowed her to see NSFW content. content. Yes. And then you also confirmed, do you or do you not confirm that you wrote erotic fanfiction of Dora the Explorer? And I, yeah, sorry. You do, you do confirm that you in fact wrote that erotic fanfiction of Dora the Explorer. I confirm. Okay. Okay. Um, give me one second. I believe the hardest part is over, right? 
Um, hold on. I'm going to clear a couple more things up first. Okay. I think she's just teaming these two staff members. So I'm going to, I'm sorry, I'm going to circle back a little bit here. Um, I'm going to circle back to a couple things actually that I forgot. Okay. So you said that you didn't understand why people were accusing you of being a kid to or a pedophile or whatever. But you also knew that Nix was underaged and you were flustering even though you knew Nix was underage. And I get that we all make mistakes, but do you understand how bad that looks? Which is exactly why we have a no flustering rule if you're not an NSFW, which you knew about. And you knew this was the reason why, because you were there when we implemented. Yes. Okay. And then um, I'm trying to find copies right now. Um, we had also got reports of um, some erotic art that you've drawn. Um, have you drawn erotic art? I have. Of uh, Dor specifically, or other characters too? Um, Dora and and one other. Who's the other, if I can ask? Um, one of the Sonic characters. Okay, well, I know who that is. I can confirm that with you two later, but it's not really that important. Because okay. it's just a Sonic character. But the Dora one was, along with the other one, I believe. 